Today we're going to go over how to convert your PDFs into something usable on Google. So first of all, I highly recommend going to a site like PDF Candy that's going to do the hard work for you. I know a lot of you out there are using the snipping tool to try to get your pages and that means you have to individually do each page. This will do all of your pages in your document all at one time. So you can see down here there's lots of different ideas, lots of different options. The main one that you're going to want to use is going to be the PDF to JPEG. That's this one here on the right. So you click on that icon. You can add a file. You can actually go in and click or I already have mine up to kind of make this faster. I'm going to just drag and drop them. So say I want my students to do my practice page for math. I'm going to drop it in here. I'm going to see it on the screen. Medium quality should be fine. And then click convert PDF. All right, and then it's done. Now I can download the file. We can hit allow. And now my file is an image. Okay, so again, this is really helpful if your document's longer than one page, but I'm just showing you one example. Now you want to go into Google Slides. You'll want to create a blank slide. The first thing you'll want to do is switch it from our page setup. We want this to be the size of a paper. Okay, and I need to switch this to vertical. So it'll be eight and a half by 11 and then apply. I can delete these text boxes that are already here. Then I'm going to go to background. This will make it so the kids can't edit any of this. So even if you're creating your own, you still want to insert as background so the kids can't change it. Choose image. Again, you can browse and actually find it. Or since I already have it up, I can come and drag and drop it. Then I'm done. So now this is permanently a part of it, so I can't edit anything on here. Okay, so I like to actually go through and add the text boxes for the kids because they might not know, especially the first week, how to add a text box. If you haven't taught your kids that yet, I would go through and add the text boxes. Use that control copy feature and that paste to put it in. And then I'll make one for the top one. Shorten it up a tad, and then I'm going to select all three of them. Copy, paste, and I can quickly go through my page, and then I'll go through and do the whole line because the second line down there is the same thing. And put them in. And my one over here didn't get a box, so I'll put those in as well. So you can see I kind of lost it there, but I can find it back and then I can drag it over. So they're still there. So you can see that they're all there. It's just hard to see. So what I did on some of mine, I actually on the sides put little hints so the kids know what to do. And then same with little troubleshooting. So I don't have to get an email. The kids are asking. They're right here. I even put an audio file in there if you know how to do that. So I could just copy and paste that from this document. Put it into this one. So they have that reference. Anytime you can add those reference in, references in, the better. For down here... I would maybe make a little circle 
and we can change the color. We can make it custom and then you can change the transparency so you can still see what the answer is. And I figure green because green is go. Copy and paste that for this one. Add a text box in here. For these circles, I might again tell them, give them a little text box saying, um, move the oval to the correct answer. And I can even add in an arrow if I want, showing them that that's what I'm talking about. Also make sure that you're titling this. So I would say practice 14-1 original. This way I would want to make a copy of it before I'm actually assigning it to any kids so nothing gets accidentally deleted. Then you're ready to share. So you can get your link, you can put it in your drive. That is part of another tutorial. I hope this helped you.